Good evening everyone. So I thought I would um, upload this video whilst I had time and uh, just show you some um, updates that I've been looking at throughout um, early hours of um, early hours of this evening should I say. So early evening and um, on top of all of our um, positions you know using the algorithm and so on and so forth that I've um, put together for you guys um, I just thought I'd show you a quick adaption of how you can um, convert the um, algorithm to pick up entries on the, the daily time frame as well which takes into account the weekly and the monthly trends um, as well as all the other 16 factors that are built into it but I thought I would um, just discuss a couple of trade opportunities um, uh, with you guys and uh, just basically look at this um, this stock here on the Nasdaq market on eBay and um, I just want to point out all of these little points here. Can you see here how we've got our resistance built up here and we had a false break through this level and um, how we've got a nice support level where it was resistance broke through, acted as support, rallied up and then pulled back to clarify our support level and then after this point it's been bouncing between these two support levels quite heavily so you can see easy entries here like um, here for example on top of the algorithm entries obviously where you can um, enter and exit we've also got these entries here like this one was picture perfect with the algorithm as well as off a support level so um, that's nice and we've also got this one here now people already asked do you trade against the trend um, no I, I tend not to in this case I'd rather wait for the buy side to um, show up so you can see here how we've had easily recognizable setups one two three with good risk to reward on each one of these positions you know if you're entering here with your stop below the previous swing around here you're, you're easily looking at twos, three to ones risk to rewards on your on your um, money. So why am I talking about this? Well, as you can see, eBay stocks have been selling off quite um, quite nicely over the last month now. And um, once it comes back down to this level around 50, we're um, going to get very um, very interested in the stock. I want to see how it acts this level. Maybe we can get some price action around here. Maybe a pause like an inside bar um, or potentially a pin bar or something along those levels. But as long as it comes down to the support level, it's um, potentially a good reward to risk setup to enter into a, a long term position to go on the buy side. And um, this is something I've been looking at, and I thought I'd just give you guys a heads up on it. You probably potentially, if this keeps dropping the way it's going, you've probably got a week or two um, to prepare yourself for this kind of position. Um, looking at the other couple of stocks I've been looking at, I was looking at Google. This is something that's becoming a bit more um, um, interesting now. It's just broken. Um, it's just broken that 550 level, so um, this is starting to become a bit more interesting. I just want to see if the 500 level um, is going to hold down here if we go down this low which should be quite interesting is where we had the gap up in the market for Google so um, that's also something to take into account um, nothing too over exciting around that we're just waiting for it to come down to that level Facebook however this is um, a previous high um, got broken out got tested rebounded off and it's going to come back down to the support level so you've also got a potential um, buy side um, to uh, getting into Facebook as well so this is something uh, to also be interested in. So there's a couple of stocks there on the um, Nasdaq that that might be might be of interest to you guys. Um, they definitely are to me. Obviously, I'm um, heavily a forex trader as well as um, a FTSE trader of the UK stock exchange. So I just thought I'd go out there a little bit more and um, show you a few other stocks that you could uh, potentially uh, take a ride on and make good profits. So um, definitely be looking at Facebook and uh, eBay for the buy side around these levels. And um, yeah, it's nice risk to reward. So um, good luck on those positions and uh, let me know your opinions, guys.